I'm Chen Yaqi. I wasn't an outgoing girl at the very beginning. Neither did I have the courage to communicate with my outstanding classmates. But after two years at my school, I feel more confident and I'm able to make good friends who would always give me inspirations from study to life. So my speech today is about my biggest harvest in school. Stay hungry, stay foolish. I have to say in the past two years, I've learned a lot in this school, not only academic knowledge, but also how to face mental issues and behave properly. Some people ask me how to survive in a bad class in which all my classmates seem to be much cleverer and more articulate than me. I think the most suitable method is to stay hungry and stay foolish. Stay foolish means to remain modest and never stop learning. You'd better not to think what you've learned is enough because the knowledge taught in classrooms is limited. To improve yourself, you have to expand your hobbies, read more materials, and talk to excellent people around you. Then a sense of urgency to learn will come to you. I will never forget my first day in class A. I got a chance to closely observe how the super students studied. It was normal for them to finish homework efficiently and do more exercise on their own. Besides, they had deep thinking or creative ideas because they read a wide range of materials. As for me, I couldn't even finish my homework. That was where the gap appeared. So for me, it was best to stay foolish to catch up with them. Stay hungry means you have a strong will to study and improve. One who is hungry is always hunting. You hunt for your goal for a better self. Every day, from every detail, you find your shortcomings and other strengths. You change yourself. If things continue this way, you will enter a higher stage. One of my best friends, who is among the top 10 of this school, is always full of energy. In class, she always focuses on the teacher's every action. After class, when there's a problem, she always runs up to the teacher until she can solve it clearly. When we are lined up for dinner, she talks to me about her study plan for the whole night. Her motivation is from her dream to enter the best university in her mind. She's always a model. There's a concept in psychology called mental cognitive. The definition is your cognition of cognition. Simply speaking, it is your own understanding of your behaviors and thoughts. It includes two aspects, self-awareness and self-control. Stay hungry links to self-awareness and stay foolish links to self-control. If you want to meet your better self, you first must know yourself what your advantages, uh, what you need to focus on, and then following the design of your heart, fix it. My first advice is learn to observe. If you're unsure about something, see how others deal with it. Then you will learn the difference. Second, make plans before you do something. List all the things you want to do, then think about what the most important thing is, do it first. It will help you save a lot of time. Finally, make actions, do your best. That's all, thank you for listening.